Steve, first game in charge, it was always going to be an interesting one. It, uh, it was very eventful in the end, but obviously disappointment. Uh, but you must be you must be fairly proud of the way your players went about their business tonight. Yeah, oh, absolutely delighted with them. Um, to a man, they were, they were first class. I mean, I thought for probably 75 minutes, 80 minutes, we, we, we were well on top of the game, deserved a lead. Um, and we were, we, were, we were doing really, really well. Uh, you could see the boys were maybe starting to tire. Uh, we've, 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 we've had the same sort of same squad go and go and go. Uh, we've not really, we've not, in, in all the games we've been in, have been important games. So you could see the legs were starting to go. Try to change, change a few bodies at the end and, and try and keep them out. But they came on last ten minutes and and they got their goal. Um, it, one each, yeah, okay, you could you could take it. But to be honest with you, I think we deserved to win. And then penalties are penalties, aren't they? I mean, it was, a, you know, it was, a, it was, a, it was a good shootout actually. There were some good penalties in there, and then just, uh, you know, Jason Lee after, unbelievable really after the strike that he's produced for the for the goal, and then to, to miss the penalty, disappointment for him. Yeah, disappointed, and, and he's disappointed himself because um, he, he feels like he should be doing a lot better from 12 yards out. But like you said, a penalty shootout is a, a flip of the coin. You know, a goalkeeper guesses the right way, or somebody slips or blazes, then that's it over. Um, but on Jay Lee, I, I, I think I think the boys magnificent. Um, Jamie Anton magnificent today. Courtney Wilde, every one of them miles, you know. And then the midfield. I, I've not seen a midfield play like that since I've been here since January. <laughs> they were wanting on the ball. They were moving. The dynamic. And and, and Jay Lee, I, put, I made him the captain tonight because I've known him for a long time. And I think the boy's got a lot. I think he's got a lot to offer. And that's probably one of the best performances he's had, as well as Weir Daly and um, Young Joe. Playing, playing, um, just playing off the off the striker, kind of up to come off, and he, he played in that hole magnificently. And I hope there was some people from Northampton Town here to watch him tonight because that's a player I think has got a really bright future. You've got to move on. It's been a whirlwind few days. You're in charge, and you've got two games over the bank holiday weekend that will probably decide what happens to to Corby Town this season. What's what, what's the plan for Saturday at Stafford? Yeah, I, I mean we'll go. We're going to go, and we're going to want to play football. I'm, I'm not wanting to go and hit corners and go and chase things like a, a relegation team might want to do. We want to go and play football. And we want to do it in the right way. And if we can build off of the back of this, then I'll be absolutely delighted. Um, we've, we've, we've got a good, good young team. I mean, we were actually saying there on the bench, our midfield at the end of the game. I think the average age was 19, yeah. and they're, they're all Corby boys. Yeah. You know, that, that's what we want to do. We're building a football club here. And, you know, even the, the, the bit that happened at the end, do you know what? That's just a bit of passion from the fans. We love that. You know, they get, we've got a bit of passion there. We get that transfers into the players. And overall, we're trying to build a whole club. And, and I think we've got a really good base to go and kick on. The bank holiday weekend, I hope will, I hope will take, uh, take care of itself. You know, we've got the away game and then the home game. And hopefully we can get a really good, passionate crowd there on Monday to cheer the boys over the line. And, well, let's just go and see what happens. Are you looking forward to it? Or are you, uh... Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, I think our first interview we had when I first joined in January, we had 11 points, uh, or just, just to Boxing Day. Um, we had 11 points and we were, we were pretty much down and, down and dusty. Um, and I said, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be good fun. Never been involved in anything like this. And do you know what? I'm, I'm absolutely delighted. Like, this football club will go on next season. It's, 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 not going to, it's not going to die on its feet because we've been relegated. But we want to do everything we possibly can to stay in this league because I think we can go and kick on. And well, they've got three games. They've got three games to show a bit of heart, a bit of desire. And if they do that and play like that that they've just done tonight, I think we'll get it. Just finally, uh, David Bell, you rested. <laughs> David Bell, Attention, please. Attention, please. This is not me. <laughs> My voice hasn't changed. David, uh, David Bell rested presumably tonight to, to be ready for the bank holiday weekend. Is that, was that a fair assumption? Yes, uh, David Bell and Phil Trainer, both massive players for us. Massive players for us. And they'll, um, they'll both be back in, um, in contention, uh, and they're probably starting 11 uh, come, come Saturday. Uh, that might be a bit harsh on some of the boys out there tonight, but like you said, we've got a game Monday. Yeah. So it's, it, it, if, if, if we need to use what we've got, and with they two, it's bags of experience, bags of talent, and they'll, they'll be a massive part of what we're going to do. David, thanks a lot, man. Cheers.